Good evening, my dear little ones. Welcome back to our English class. This is your Elsa teacher. Have you all finished reading the story? Yes. Have you completed the notes? And what about studies? Have you studied well? Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our lesson. What can you see here? Yes, it's a seashore. And who is this boy? This is Ebin. Very good. What's happening here? Who is that man with a boat? Yes, it's Ebin's father who is going for fishing. And what will Ebin do now? Yes, he will wait there in the seashore. Let's see what happens next. Yes, his father is back with a big fish. Ebin tried to lift. He tries to lift the fish with both his hands. Now, Ebin and the fish is sad. Ebin decides the fish to go back to the sea. He lets the fish go back to the sea. We have learned till this and we already told that Ebin's father will be angry because he let the fish go into the sea. Let's see what happens when his father comes back. See, what can you see in the picture? Yes. Ebin's father is very angry from his face. We can assume that he is very angry. And what is Ebin doing? He is going back. Let's see what happened here. The furious father. What do you mean by the word furious? Very angry. So here we can see a very angry father of Ebin. Let's read this. Keep your finger near the line. Father came back with a big basket. Where is the fish? He asked. I let it go. What? Are you crazy? Father raised his voice. Please father, let it go. Ibn said. Father was furious. Get out of my sight. I don't want to set my eyes on you anymore. He shouted. So what happened here? His father returned with a basket. And he could not see the fish that he had given to Ebin. He asked Ebin, where is the fish? He said that, I let the fish go into the sea. So he is asking, are you crazy? Are you crazy means, are you mad or something? He raised his voice as he was very furious. Furious means very angry. And he says to Ibn that, get out of my sight. I don't want to see you, see you again. He shouted, get out of my sight and I don't want to see you again. He said it because of his angry. And we can see Ibn is walking somewhere else. Let's see what happens next. Gratitude. Here we can see Ebin with that same fish. And what is that inside the mouth of that fish? Yes. Something that is shiny. It's a ring. Okay, very good. He gives something to Ebin. The fish is giving something to Ebin. Let's see what is it. Gratitude means feeling of thankfulness. What shall I do now? Ebin had no idea. Father has told him that he should be out of her sight. So Ebin is thinking, what shall I do now? He sat on the shore looking at the boats sailing away. He sat there on the shore and looked at the sea. He could see many boats sailing there. 
Thank you for saving my life. He heard a voice from the sea. Who's that? Ebin looked around in surprise. When he was looking at the sea, he could see, he could hear a voice saying thank, thanks to him. And he is looking around to see who said it. And he is asking, who's that? And he looks around in surprise. Ebin could not believe his eyes. Can a fish speak? He stood on the shore like a statue. Without moving, he opened his eyes wide and he was thinking that can a fish talk? So who told that thank you? Yes, it was the same fish who was thanking him for saving his life. Dear boy, I'll never forget your kindness, the fish said. What did the fish say? Dear boy, I'll never forget your mercy, your kindness. Take this. This is a magic ring. Rub it and see what it can do. Use this only when you are in need. By giving this magic ring, the fish says to Ebin that use this when you are in need. It is a magic ring. Rub it and see what it can do. The fish came near Ebin and opened its mouth. There was a beautiful ring in its mouth. Ebin took the ring and the fish swam back to the sea. What do you mean by the word swam? It is a past tense of swim. By giving the ring, the magic ring to Ebin, the fish swam back to the sea again. So he got a magic ring here. Now let's see what will he do with that magic ring. Into the forest. So from the heading itself, we can understand that Ebin is in the forest now. From the picture, it is clear. And we can see here Ebin is very frightened. And what can you see here? A number of dogs are chasing a small deer. Let's see what happened here. Ebin walked aimlessly. He walked without any purpose. He walked here and there. But he was not afraid. Do you know why? Do you know why Ebin was not afraid? Yes, he had the magic ring with him. He had the magic ring with him. He could use it in need. He walked for a long time. He reached a dense forest with huge trees and bushes. At last, he reached a thick forest with huge trees, big trees and bushes. Small plants. He heard the chirping of birds and the cries of animals. Suddenly, a deer darted in front of him. What do you mean by the word darted? Move quickly. Move suddenly and quickly. A pack of wild dogs were chasing it. A pack of wild dogs means a group of dogs were chasing that deer and it moved quickly in front of him. And what will happen next? What will he do now? Okay, let's see that in the next class. Now let's do some exercises. Activity 2. Here we can see a boy is thinking of many things. What would you do if you got a magic ring? Write any three things you would like to ask for. You may begin with this sentence. If I got a magic ring, I would ask for... You can write your own wishes here. Okay, my dear children. Write neatly in the textbook with your pencil. It's activity two. Okay, you can write any of your three wishes if you get a magic ring. Now take page number 92. Here we have a part, my words. Who am I? Here are some, there are some questions. You have to answer them. Okay, 
Read the sentences below. Fill the boxes with what they suggest. First one. I am a bird. I can fly high. In the beginning of the story, we have read about this bird. Which is this bird? Ah, it's a kind of eagle. Kite. K-I-T-E. Second one. Our home is the sea. We come to the shore and go back. Who comes and go back in a sea? Yes, waves. Very good. Third one. I protect birds from heat and cold. I give colors to the birds. My name starts with the letter F. What is it? Feathers. The colored part of a bird. Next one. I am a white bird with a long beak. I can catch fish easily. White bird with a long beak. Which is that bird? Yes, it's a crane. Next one. I am bigger than a hill. Rivers start from me. It is a it is something bigger than a hill and rivers starts from here. Which place is that? Yes, mountain. You can feel me but cannot see me. When I blow, the trees sway. Yes, it's wind. People wear me on their fingers. I am round in shape. What is it? People wear me on their fingers. Fingers. Yes, it's a ring. I am covered with fine sand. Waves come and hit me. Some collect shells from me. What is it? Yes, it's a seashore. So my dear children, with your pencil you can write here. After writing, check your answers and correct the spellings with this answer key. Okay. Here I have given one small example for activity 2. I will read it for you. If I got a magic ring, I would ask for an effective vaccination against coronavirus. If I get a magic ring, I would ask for some money to buy some necessary things. And I will give some money to the poor also. If I get a magic ring, I would ask for a new bicycle. If I get a magic ring, I would ask it for helping me to score good marks in my exams. Now let's discuss some notes. Meanings. First one, crazy meaning mad. Second one, furious, very angry. Third one, gratitude, feeling of being grateful. Fourth one, statue. Figures of a person, animals, etc. In wood, stone, bronze, etc. Fifth one, darted. Mood suddenly. Sixth one, dense. Means thick. Tenses. Race. Raised. Shout. Shouted. Forget. Forgot. Swim. Swam. Dart. Darted. Chase. Chased. Now answer the following question. First one. Why was Ebin's father furious? Ebin let the fish go into the sea. This made his father angry. So my dear children. Write these notes into your notebook. And write and study in your rough book five times. Write well, study well, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.